Today we're going to run down every piece of DLC you can buy on the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii U eShop so you know what DLC to buy before the eShop closes next year. Let's talk about it. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Botox Media. Uh, first of all, huge shout out to Narga Shadow from my Discord server, you can join that in the description down below plug in that right now uh, he sent me this link to a reset era thread of a user by the name of stop door who compiled every uh, exclusive eShop game as well as every piece of DLC or every game with DLC on the Nintendo eShop between 3ds and Wii U initially I was just gonna do 3ds but I figured there's not that much Wii U stuff so I'll just do it all in one and we'll uh, we'll have a good time here so um I haven't really talked about the eShop games too much. I've been focusing on physical, like, collecting videos for 3DS, what games to buy, best, you know, JRPG, stuff like that. I need to do the eShop stuff. Expect a video on 3DS eShop games very soon, and then another one probably solely dedicated to Wii U soon. So, there's a lot to cover. Um, so, let's just get into it. We're doing DLC, though, first, because this is the stuff you cannot even get physically even at scalper prices on eBay, even if you, you know, you decide to pay that, it, it's digital only. This is the only way to get it. And... I know I'm going to get comments. Some people don't like modding their 3DS. If you want to mod it, that's fine. Do you? Some people don't like it. So they'll, they'll rather pay the $3 for this DLC and just own it, you know, legally. That, that's completely fine. If you want to mod your 3DS, that's fine too. But this video is for people that do not want to mod their 3DS and want to own the thing legally. So let's get into this. We're starting with uh, Wii U. Obviously, not as much. There's like five games with DLC. So... Some of this is even free DLC, and there's also a bunch of free stuff on the eShop. Like there's some pan panorama views as well as just a bunch of demos. So if you want to get that stuff, uh, do that. Um, this we're not going to talk about that stuff here, uh, but let's get into this. So, Fast Racing Neo. Of course, this is on Switch as Fast RMX, but uh, they had DLC on the Wii U eShop called the Neo Future Pack, and this doesn't say if it's paid. I'm assuming all this stuff is paid for the most part. I'm pretty sure the Neo Future Pack was paid DLC for Fast Racing Neo, but it is on Switch, so theoretically, if you miss out on it on the Wii U, there is the Switch version. Uh, but next up, of course, we have Mario Kart 8. Uh, this had two DLC packs. I don't think you could buy them separately, if I'm mistaken. I think it was like $15 or $16 for, for both DLC packs. Of course, this was like the Animal Crossing track and the Zelda track and the F-Zero stuff, so uh, get those, as well as characters as well. Um, so if you play Mario Kart 8 on Wii U for whatever reason, uh, there you go. Now, this one's interesting. I actually forgot about this, but Pikmin 3 had a paid DLC. It had a collect treasure, uh, battle enemies, and mission stages. So, I think it was all the co-op stuff, the, the multiplayer stuff. Um, he says some, some, may all, some may also kind of be irrelevant or superseded by Pikmin 3 Deluxe, but Pikmin 3 Deluxe on Switch versus the Pikmin 3 on Wii U, it controls better on Wii U. So, Theoretically, the Wii U version is kind of definitive, at least from that aspect. The new story stuff they added to Pikmin 3 on Switch was pretty neg negligible, in my opinion. Um, but there is paid DLC on the Wii U that is included in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, but that's that's control preference at that point. Uh, Rumbo. Um, so I guess there was, uh, let's see, a Satra Space Adventure. So some DLC for Rumbo. Uh, but there was also a physical version of Rumbo that I believe included it on the disc. Then we have Sonic Lost World. This is a pretty big one because Sonic Lost World has not been ported to any other platforms. It is on P it is on Steam, but obviously this content would not be on Steam. I think these are free. I think these are free. We have Yoshi's Island Zone and The Legend of Zelda Zone. These are pretty cool pieces of DLC. Actually, I'm going to do a video on these soon um, where you're in like a Wooly World setting with Sonic or a Zelda setting with Sonic and it even has like Link's tunic and stuff. So uh, definitely download the Sonic Lost World DLC. I'm pretty sure it was free, but uh, I'll, I'll correct myself on screen if not. Um, and then we get to the final two. Two major games. Uh, well, actually, one of them is free stuff, and I guess we'll just say that first. Xenoblade Chronicles X. This game didn't have paid DLC, but it had high-speed data loading packs, where basically um, it made the game load faster. It was basically a patch to fix the game. They never put this on disc. Obviously, Xenoblade Chronicles X is, is most likely going to get ported to Switch, so theoretically, this is fine if you don't get this, but I personally am going to be downloading this. Uh, when I say the load times on Xenoblade Chronicles X are bad, I mean they are bad. And these data packs, I think, actually take... It's like 20 gigs. So, chances are you're going to need an external hard drive for this if you don't already have one. Um, so, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X had... Those are free, obviously. Um, just data packs just to, to make the game load faster. So, those are pretty crucial to the game experience if you're going to play it on Wii U. I'm personally holding out for the Switch version, but I, I am going to download those just in case. Um, and those, you know, like I said, are free. And then we have Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This is probably the most important game with DLC on the Nintendo Wii U because it's a Smash Bros. game. And although Smash Ultimate definitely replaces it to an extent, it doesn't completely replace it. You know, people always go back to Melee. They go back to Brawl. Smash and Smash Wii U and Ultimate are very similar. 
they are still two different games. There's still a reason to play Smash Wii U. So, of course, the DLC for this game, I forget the exact prices for each character. I think it varied a little bit, like $4 to $7 per character. Uh, we had Mewtwo. We had Lucas, Roy, Ryu, Cloud, Corrin, Bayonetta, and that's it for fighters. And then we had a bunch of stages as well. I think these are like a dollar or two. We had Dreamland 64, Peach's Castle 64, Hyrule Castle 64. We had the Mario Maker stage. We had the Pirate Ship stage. Um, and it looks like, yeah, so all this stuff is actually crossed by between Wii U and 3DS, except for the Pirate Ship stage, it says, um, which is interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. And then a ton of me costumes. I'm not going to list them all off here, but, um, and that is it. That is it for Wii U DLC. There's, there, there's a good chance there's something this person missed. Um, if you know of any other DLC that you can buy on the Wii U shop, let me know. Um, there's certainly more free stuff. I'm thinking like Nuke Town is a download for Black Ops 2. I think Free Fall, uh, the map, is a go uh, is a download downloadable thing for Ghosts. So there, I'm sure there's more free stuff. But in terms of paid DLC um, that is actually going to be lost on the Wii U, this is the majority of it. Um, but if there's anything else, put it down in the comments below for other people. This is just the list that I found, and um, I think it's definitely the most important stuff. Okay, now we're getting to the 3DS DLC. So, he didn't even list what the DLC is, um, and that, that's fine. There's a lot of games, so just, just bear with me here. So, uh, Seven the Dragon 3 Code of VFD, the Sega JRPG that has DLC. Ace Attorney Dual Destinies has Turnabout Reclaimed as DLC. Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice has Turnabout Time Traveler as DLC. I'm assuming these are just extra cases. Um, Art Academy apparently has DLC. It looks like Bravely Second Inlayer has DLC. Dragon Ball Fusions has DLC. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Dragon Quest 7, Dragon Quest 8. Apparently, the entire Etrian Odyssey series, is along with Etrian Mystery Dungeon, has DLC. Um, Fantasy Life. So, the multiplayer in this game actually requires um, all players to have the DLC to play the DLC. So, um, that's an interesting one. Uh, hopefully, the servers don't go down anytime soon. So, if you want to play that online, get the DLC. Otherwise, you're probably not going to be able to find anybody online. Because everybody that's currently playing it probably has the DLC. Uh, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm has DLC, as well as Curtain Call. Um... And it looks like Theater Rhythm, the first Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm, has unique DLC versus Curtain Call, but maybe that DLC was just added in the base game of Curtain Call. I'm not too sure. Then we get to a big one, a big series here, Fire Emblem. So Fire Emblem Awakening, Echoes, and Fates all have a major DLC. Fates especially um, <laughs> has an entire game as DLC. So there's the three versions. There's Birthright, there's Conquest, and there's Revelation. Birthright and Conquest you can buy physically. But if you just say buy Birthright, you can buy Conquest for $20, and you can buy Revelation for $20. The only way to get Revelation physically is the Special Edition, which is completely, completely overpriced at this point. So I do not recommend doing that. That's what I did, but I do not recommend doing that. Um, so get them digitally. That is probably the most important thing on the eShop that we're losing, honestly, out of everything, is Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. That's a basically entire Fire Emblem game that is being lost to the eShop Closer show. That is the biggest thing, I would say. And of course, with all the other Fire Emblem games, there's just a ton of of just random maps awakening had maps echoes had maps i'm pretty sure awakening like you get to like meet marth in the dlc and stuff like that so um echoes had a 45 dollar season pass so that's very expensive but it is there uh but yeah fire emblem had a ton of dlc support and it doesn't list it here i did the fire emblem warriors on new 3ds not get dlc that's really funny if it didn't um moving forward though we have god of protectors i actually just recorded a video on that i'm not sure if it's up by now but go check out my video on god of protectors that just came out on switch uh if, if it's available if not it'll be up on uh, i think april 13th uh, i'm not sure when this is being posted i it'll probably already be up uh high warriors legends has dlc so they did a full season pass for that game as well as a mandatory update i'm not sure what's going on with that but there is an update for that game along with the wind waker pack the link's awakening pack the phantom hourglass pack and a link between worlds pack so ton of dlc there it is all in the Switch port of Hyrule Warriors, so keep that in mind. But if you want to play with Hyrule Warriors Legends on 3DS, there is all that DLC. It looks like Little Battlers Experience had DLC. Mario Golf World Tour had a season pass? I did not know that. I did not know that. I'm assuming that's like more courses, maybe even characters. All the Monster Hunter games had DLC. Um, actually, it doesn't look like 3 Ultimate did, but Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate had DLC. Generations. Um, looks like Monster Hunter Stories had DLC that's free, but you have to start a file to, uh, to access it. Uh... Then actually, yeah, oh, this is a really good point. There's episodic stuff on the eShop. I think it was like, I, th I think they actually took it down. The Ironfall Invasion game, is that what I'm thinking of? Uh, that was like an exploit at one point. Uh, but Moon Chronicles from uh, Renegade Kid, an FPS, this is an episodic game. So any episodic stuff, I, I, never, I didn't even think about this, is going to be lost. You might be able to download, I think the first episode of Moon is free, but then there's episodes you pay for. You're not going to be able to do that anymore. That, that's really sad. Um, so that's that's a crucial eShop game there. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. 
I think a lot of people forgot this game had DLC, myself included so at times. Uh, I think this is the first like Nintendo game to have DLC, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of like little mushroom coin challenge pack A, coin challenge pack B, you know, so on and so forth. Um, gold rush pack, a ton of just random levels that uh, I'm pretty sure this DLC really made it easy to get to a million coins in that game because that was like one of the challenges, get a million coins. So um, I'm pretty sure... Um, the DLC was kind of made to like make that way easier. We have Persona Q, we have Persona Q2, Persona Miss or Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. I don't remember that game having DLC, but I guess it did. Pokemon Picross, of course, was a free to play game with an in that purchase to purchase more stuff. So there's that. Pokemon Rumble, Pokemon Rumble World, of course, the eShop version was free to play, but there was a physical version. Um, but if you download the eShop version, there's microtransactions. And I should say, some of the stuff is just microtransactions. I think Pokemon Picross is just microtransactions it might even be the case for like monster hunter 4 ultimate it might have been like stickers or something um i'm not entirely positive pokemon shuffle another free to play game with microtransactions um this is interesting i forgot they even did this but there is a pokemon sun and moon special demo this kind of goes out the realm of dlc but in that demo apparently you can get ash greninja i don't even remember that i remember playing that demo but uh yeah you can get ash greninja and transfer it to the full game and that's the only way to do that so that's really interesting for sure um some of the stuff isn't really dlc i would say but uh still worth noting nonetheless uh every professor Layton game on 3ds had daily puzzles i think that was more through just like spot pass or like the internet but uh worth noting uh, uh professor Layton versus phoenix right ace attorney uh looks like there's dlc for that game uh project cross zone 2 however i believe that game is delisted so does that that means the dlc is also delisted if there was dlc so that's very sad that is very sad you might have to might be uh you know well, not that FBI, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Simon Kagura 2, Deep Crimson had DLC. Uh, Street, Ma Street Pass Me Plaza, this is a very important one. So, they released a ton of games for Street Pass Me Plaza over the years that were paid. They're all going to be lost. Now, you might be thinking like, oh, well, Street Pass is basically dead anyway. You're not really going to get many Street Passes while, you know, out in public anyway. So, no point really buying those. And you're, you're kind of right. However, keep in mind with play coins, you can play all these games if you just walk around with your 3DS because you get play coins on your 3DS by walking. You can use, I think it's two play coins to hire a me to come in in place of actually finding a real person. So um, these are little Nintendo games that are being lost. Uh, definitely weirder to get around playing to them. I think if you mod your 3DS, you can just add infinite play coins to your counter. So like if you wanted to play the game, like actually you you could. Uh, there was some fun ones in there, but yeah, ton of ton of Street Pass stuff that's, that's being lost, which is sad. Uh, Stretchmo, which I believe was a free-to-play Pushmo game. Uh, there's that. And then once again, we're going back to Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. All the same stuff I, I mentioned for Wii U. Mewtwo, Lucas, Roy, Ryu, Cloud, Korin, Bayonetta, and then a couple of the old stages as well as the Mario Maker stage and, and Mii costumes. So uh, that's it for Smash Bros. Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, another free-to-play. Um, or actually, you know what? I don't think this one was free-to-play on 3DS. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it does have microtransactions. Uh, similar to the Switch version of Super Kirby Clash, it caps out at $30. Like, if you buy it all, they won't let me spend any more money. So there's that. Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. I did not know that DLC. That's sad, because I'm not going to get to that in time. <laughs> uh, Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, another free-to-play game from Nintendo. Very interesting. Uh, DLC is built into the progression of the game. So this is a game where you haggle with the shop owner to get the DLC for cheaper. A very interesting game from Nintendo. I think uh, Babylonian did a video on this. Uh, go check that out. Uh, but yeah, Rusty's Real Deal Baseball is a very interesting game, uh, and you can't buy it outright. You have to play the game to get it all. So if you want to play Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, you basically have a year left, guys. <laughs> uh, then we get into the Shemigami Tensei games, uh, SMT4, SMT4 Apocalypse, SMT Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. All three of these games have DLC. I, I feel like the other ones have DLC too, but maybe it's just, maybe they forgot, or maybe there's, I don't know, maybe, maybe it doesn't. Um, SMT games, usually the DLC is like paid paid little dungeons where it's super easy to level up they always do this uh in the smt games so for smt4 for example there's a map where you can fight this monster that gives you way more xp than anywhere else in the game so if you're just wanting to grind out these games and level up super fast very crucial that's how that's how i ended up beating through smt4 i ain't gonna lie i i ain't ashamed <laughs> um then we have steel diver sub wars we're rounding off the list here this is another free-to-play game, but the story mode was paid. And then I think there's also an in-game shop for more um, cosmetics and stuff like that. Story of Seasons Trio of Towns had DLC. And then finally, both Style Savvy Trendsetters and Style Savvy Fashion Forward had DLC. So I'm sorry that this wasn't as in-depth as I would have liked with 
showing how much everything was and what exactly the DLC was. Uh, but I hope this gives you an idea of what games to be looking out for for DLC before the eShop closes. If you, you know, maybe you've heard this and you're like, oh, I forgot that, you know, Dragon Ball Fusions has DLC or, um, uh, you know, Mario Golf World Tour has a season pass. I want to get that before the eShop closes. Hopefully, this video was helpful to you. Um, so, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for uh, watching. If you know of any other DLC on the Wii U or 3S eShop that I did not mention, put it down in the comments below. Even if it's just free stuff, like I mentioned, like the Xenoblade Chronicles X data packs, those are free. It's a free update, kind of free, free install, um, as well as just free stuff. I mean, there's stuff like um, Pokédex 3D is free on the eShop. Um, just a bunch of random stuff like the like the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate data transfer tool, stuff like that between 3S and Wii U. So let me know if there's anything else I missed. Of course, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it informative, uh, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Hit that bell for more Nintendo 3S and Wii U content. Follow me on Twitter at Botox Media. Join the Discord at link to that in the description. And uh, until next time, guys. Bye bye.